Hey guys, today we're talking about last minute Halloween costumes using one thing you have in your closet, the suit. Hey guys, welcome back. As you know, Halloween is right around the corner. And if you guys are anything like us, you have been procrastinating, have no idea what you're going to wear. So today we put a couple outfit ideas together using one thing you definitely have in your closet, the suit. So dude, I feel like every year I tell myself, like two or three months in advance, I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna get my outfit, I'm, it's gonna be the best yet. And right now we're like uh, less than a week away and I still don't know who the hell I'm gonna be or what yes. I'm gonna be. Yeah, I have all these ideas, like three months out, I was like, this sounds awesome. You know, I'm gonna go all out, I'm gonna spend a few hundred dollars on a costume this year. A few hundred, you okay, know? If, there's, if, there's a, if there's a Halloween contest involved, I'm gonna make sure I win the contest. And then it comes to this point and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just feel so bad because like my, my fiance every year wants to like be this couple's theme and she has high hopes for us and in the end I end up being one thing and she's the other so it's like we never like really match. All right guys, so today we have 10 suited gentlemen that you can be. They all use kind of different types of suits so if you have one suit in your closet you can probably pick one of these that will work. If you have multiple suits, you got options, guys. So yes. up first, the man, the legend, Hugh Hefner. You can do this costume many different ways. You can go the smoking jacket approach and velvet slippers. You know, as long as you have a pipe and you know, if you have a Playboy Bunny accessory, then I think everyone will get the point. So you can wear a robe, a smoking jacket, a full on tuxedo. But as long as you have a pipe and some sort of reference to a bunny, I think you'll be all good. Yeah, and, and if you do do a robe, if you do do a robe, Make sure it's, I mean, try to make sure it's like a silk robe, like one of those boss ones. I mean, Hugh Hefner was the man, okay, so pay him homage. Yeah, make sure it has some thickness to it because you don't want to be seeing hey. your, your little bits. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> no, All right no bulges on Halloween, guys. For the second costume that's super easy to do, which I did the night before last year, is the Joker. Easy guys, okay, so all you need is makeup, some sort of like costume makeup. It, it could be a white, black, and a red, red only for the lipstick. Yeah. And just like, cause you smear it and it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then if you do go buy something, go to like your local Dollar Tree or any dollar store and buy green hairspray. It's gonna cost you literally a dollar. Buy two cans, you spray it in your hair and your makeup and, and like the hard part is done. Yes. Then you go to your closet and you put on anything that's green or purple, anything. So if you have a purple vest, throw it on. If you have a green shirt, I don't know why you would have one, but if you have one, throw it on, just roll the sleeves up, make it kind of disheveled and then just like go into character, bro. Yes. Well, if you want to do another Batman costume with half the work, you can do Two-Face. So basically, you know, you'd put the, the Two-Face makeup on, so half your face is kind of burned and really messed up, half your face is normal, and then you just kind of go with any everyday lawyer suit look. So, you know, kind of like a striped tie, white shirt, and black navy or charcoal gray suit, and you're all good. Easy. All right, guys, now the fourth one is Something I did two years ago is Dia de los Muertos. So it's a day of the dead. Basically I wore a tuxedo, but you could also wear a black suit. You just throw that on and you paint your face, have your girlfriend, your mom, anyone that can help you do makeup, do your makeup and you're done. Easy. So up next, this one's gonna be pretty popular amongst the suited and gentlemanly crowd, I'm sure. And that's a Kingsman character. So, you know, if you're gonna do like the British Kingsman, I would go a very classically styled suit, nothing too loud, nothing no. too bold, but still very well tailored and very well put together. Oxford's not brogues, uh, an umbrella, and then some sort of clear glasses seems to be the way to do it. Yeah, so for, the, for this specific costume, literally guys, just go in your closet, put something together, make sure your hair is nice and slick, and then just go for it. Yes, I yeah. know, I, they, I do know that if you've seen the recent Kingsman movie, they do sell that orange blazer tuxedo online. I think it's somewhere between 90 and $110, so oh, wow. not crazy expensive if you are looking to really go all out, but definitely not necessary for a Kingsman look. But if you are looking to go all out, you can go on Mr. Porter, and I think they do have the actual jacket, but it's like $2,000, okay? <laughs> so think about that, guys, okay? All right, guys, now the next one is something I think George and I I think have been at least once in our lifetime and it's James Bond. I'm James Bond right now. He is James Bond right all now. All I need is a martini and a pistol and I'm all good. All right, so yeah, and a super hot chick. Yes. Yeah, so this one's super easy guys. You need a bow tie, most likely a white dress shirt, and just a suit. Yeah, well black suit, tuxedo. Black or white, you know, because sometimes he wears that shawl collar, yeah. white one, you know, where that's like that iconic look, you know. Very easy guys. You yes. Just have the pistol or at least do the pistol stands, you know, the 
the silhouetted. Yeah. And you get to drink martinis all night, so. Shaking, not stirred. I feel like if you are James Bond, you have to drink martinis all night though, so. They go into character. So like if you're if you're a Kingsman, have have like an accent, you know, like just work it. If you're James Bond, just you know, be James Bond. He's suave and he's cool and he's the man. Just be character. Alright guys, up next, this one's really, really fun, at least in my mind, if I was gonna do it, and it's Wolf of Wall Street. So if you're gonna do that, you know, go all out, go bold, you know, go suspenders, like thick striped shirt with like an accented white collar or something. Um, you know, a, the nicest watch you have and you know, accent it with like a bag of pills or something fun and then you kind of just get to be the loudest and funnest guy at the party if you're that because you'll be in character. So yeah, if, you're all, if you're already that guy, awesome. But if you're not, you get to step out of your comfort zone and have a little extra fun. Yeah, I mean, we're not condoning like drugs, but like if you have like a, like a bag of fake drugs, full yes, drugs. Yeah, obviously that was fake. Sorry. Or I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, like, but you got like, you can loosen your tie. You can have your suit kind of baggy because it was like, was it the 80s? It was the 80s, yeah. It was the 80s, so there was it was terrible styling. So make sure your suit is like, like just really big, maybe borrow your dad's. And just look like like you're tore up. Look like you're high, and you're just like you don't give a sh. You know, yes. just that's pretty much it. Because Jordan Balfour, that's who he was. He was arrogant, cocky. He made a lot of money, but he dressed like crap, dude. And then, whenever your Halloween party is about to shut down, you can get on the mic and just go, "I'm not fucking leaving, <laughs> dude." <yeah. laughs> and then the place is gonna go nuts. You so do that. that's a good move. And up next, we're going from the '80s with Wolf of Wall Street to the 90s with uh, Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. If you guys haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend it. But basically all you need to do is dress up in a, you know, a nice suit and then throw like a clear raincoat over it, which you do, you will have to buy, but I think it's like $10 on Amazon and then find like a fake ax prop and you're good to go. Yeah, I think you also, you also need to have like that devious smile because he's like, he's like very charismatic, but he's also like, he smiles and looks like, like you know he's like he's up to no good. Yes. So just make sure that like again you go into character. And I mean I know I see someone that does that costume every year, but every year I see it, I'm like, it's still awesome. Yeah, it's genius. And yeah. then just maybe if you have like paint you could throw on you, like some red oh, paint. Oh yeah, some blood. So it looks like you just uh yeah. You just uh you know. Alright guys, so the next character you can be is Harvey Specter from Suits. Now he's like powerful, he's bold, he's arrogant, but he he's like the easiest character. Basically, guys, you need a suit that has wide lapels yes. and peaked. So anything that looks Tom Ford-esque is basically what you'll wear. Yes. You can have a briefcase, but he doesn't necessarily have a briefcase all the time. No. Just basically just wear a powerful suit, go bold, something like what I'm wearing today. Yes. Right, just maybe with a white um, pocket square. Yes. That's it. Very, very simple. And I mean, Blake and I are huge fans of suits. That's why we kind of threw it in there. You know, it may not be the most recognizable character in the party, but it's definitely a good one. All right guys, now the last character is something that's iconic. Everyone has been this uh, super easy to wear the outfit. It's Al Capone. Yes. You just need pretty much a striped suit. It can be double breasted, preferably. A fedora hat, maybe a cigar, and a nice Tommy gun. Yes, just embody that classic mobster feel. And you know, you'll see, you'll see it every Halloween too, but there are some people that do it much better than others. So if you have a really, really good suit, and uh, you know you can put on the accent and really get in the character. I think yeah. that's that's what makes a good Halloween costume in general. Like if you look great, that's one thing. But if you act the part while you look great, that's what sets the costume over the top. Yeah, definitely, 100%, dude. All right, guys, there you have it. So that's 10 Halloween costumes you can wear this Halloween while wearing a suit. Nope, that was only nine. We totally forgot the last one and my costume for this year. Um, I'm actually gonna be Conor McGregor, and I feel like it works perfect because I already have a beard, I have a side part haircut, and all I have to do is throw on a suit and walk around like an asshole all night long. So it should be pretty easy. And that actually wraps up our 10 Halloween costumes you can wear with a suit. If you guys are any of these this Halloween, tag us in a photo on Instagram, at Jens Lounge, so we can see it. We'd love to check it out. Maybe we'll even do like a Halloween contest. Yeah, yeah let's do that. We're gonna do, do it. We're gonna do a Halloween contest right now. So if you wear a suited Halloween look, tag us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge, in the photo, and the day after Halloween, we'll go through hashtag, like, GL Halloween. We'll have, we'll have something down below for you to enter. We'll have all the description and ways to do it, but I think that'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. 
Be sure to subscribe. You know, it really helps us out if you guys subscribe to this channel. We really appreciate it. Like, comment, um, like us on Instagram at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge. And good luck this Halloween, guys. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.